Hello and uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're listening from. It's another episode, the fourth in our series of the Quality Check, um, here to help me, because a lot of our people are at Manchester Grand Conquest, a lot of our regulars, um, so I thought I'd call upon some other friends to give me a different diversity. Um, so yes, we've got our returning guest, Mr. Joe. Hello. Hello, guys. Hello, Thanks for having me on again. No worries. Thank you very much for coming on. And uh, I've got a good friend of mine, um, Random, or Matt. Um, so why don't you introduce yourself, Matt, and uh, tell us a little about yourself. Uh, I'm a wolf doomer. He's the worst <laughs> character he can't kill. If he can't kill. Um, I, I'd like to promote positivity and being good, but I hate myself when it comes to playing Smash. So I guess everyone else be positive towards yourself. I'm good for Smash now. I mean, it, it sometimes it's difficult to like be positive all the time in Smash when uh, it's, it's, it's yeah. a game that winds you up. And then, last but last least, last but not least, is my uh, very good friend Jamie or No Chaotic or rebranding himself, as you can see in the dapper suit and tie, Mister Business. Mister Business you, himself, fresh you, off the stock exchange. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Jamie? Uh, I am the token wagey of the group seriously representing um <laughs> if you couldn't tell my smash relations in the background over there um yeah i play melee and ultimate yeah hate them both huge <laughs> i mean i i dabble in a bit of melee but i'm not very good at it <laughs> i can't it's still so unresponsive man like i play link because he's the only zoner in that game <laughs> i'm using the term loosely because everybody oh just runs at you and hits buttons so <laughs> so i must be yeah. <laughs> Oh, Samus exists. <laughs> exists, man. I I uh, refuse to play Samus. That character is is dumb in whatever game she's in. But I digress. Sure. Um, obviously, uh, like I said, uh, a lot of our players are at um, Manchester Grand Conquest, um, which will be happening the day after this is recorded, or a week before this is uploaded. Um, so, having a look at the seeding, we'll we'll generally just talk a little bit about it quickly. Um, anybody got any sort of theories, predictions of who's going to do well and and uh, how do. the event will go? go it's on, quite then. easy. Bloom wins. You reckon Bloom wins? <laughs> like I, I, I don't see it any other way. I've looked. I've had a li little look. I haven't looked much. I kind of went. Oh God, I've got to actually look at um, Grand Conquest. I saw Bloom. I saw Big Boss, and I went. He plays <laughs> Rob. Ah, uh, they. Do and Rob like Bayo is like. Look, I've watched Bloom Zomba, I've watched Bloom Big Boss, I've watched Bloom versus any Rob. It is painful. Bloom Bloom destroys Robs because it's Bayo Rob. I don't think there's any other way I can see it. Like yeah. I don't know who he struggles against really in this bracket. Like I don't really know Bloom's a bit weird, he can get upset, but there's not a single person here. Like if maybe if there was Lugi or like another big like EU player like Space, not really. I just think it's quite an easy bloom win. I don't know. I'm a, the 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 fire emblem guys have given him a lot of trouble in the past. I, obviously, I think mm. he lost to Lance a lot for ninth at a European major not too long ago in the past. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe that was Regen twenty three. Yes, that was. and I knew Flo is here. So and he I love. Yeah, I mean, he does kind of struggle with Roy. It's like that early kill power. So I think I don't think he's like a shoe in for it. Obviously, he's the favorite, but. I can see a lot of people upsetting him. I Loki thinks uh, Space has potential to do really well at this tournament. Like, obviously, he's seeded like fourth. Yeah. But with Spargo having like two really close wins against Bloom, with Space's character being Aegis, I feel like Space is the kind of guy to go away and learn from that. Um, oh, yeah. So we could potentially see some really good Bayo Aegis gameplay. And, and Aegis wins that matchup by a fair bit, I'd say. Okay. Like it can it can be really hard for Bayo, especially like off stage. So if anything, Space Bloom seeded to happen top eight winner side, I feel like Space could take that. I ain't putting it inside bets. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Bl Bloom's to go. We all know this now. <laughs> He's been rocking us four years. Okay, but see. Space, I feel like could make a really big run, especially Rob Aegis as well. If Big Boss loses to, or if Big Boss doesn't lose to Kudna, which I have no curry governor to go, man. Um, I feel like uh, I feel like it could be Space Big Boss in that winners finals. Okay. Mm. I got shot. one one take, 
before top 16, we've got Ascro versus MK Big Boss. My Ooh. bets are on Ascro. Oh, that Bro. is a spicy take. Yes. Yeah, I mean... genuinely think Ascro has a shot of taking down Name during this tournament. He's, I reckon he's genuinely under seeded. Not, not even in top 16. He's uh, crazy. Uh, yeah. I mean, Astro seeded uh, to get 13 for this tournament, which I yeah. feel is a real oh. disservice to what Astro can do. Um, I believe Astro is definitely getting top eight loser side, without, well, without a doubt. Like you saw what he did at UFA 2023, mm. he's rocked up like this 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 little kid and just was like, yeah, hi Pelly, uh, I'm gonna yeah. beat you now. And he had a really good run at that tournament. So I feel like Asuka has been running a lot at uh, the counter attacks and as well as a massive Wi Fi fiend. Mm. I feel like Asuka definitely can beat Trim and can definitely beat Flo and get to that top eight spot, even if it, even if it does lose to Big Boss. It's interesting because if he has to play Trim, that's a rematch from UFA where he took the first yeah, game that's... and then the reverse 3 0 happened. I think I was watching that live and I think Trim sort of caught on to his disadvantage. And just sort mm. of kept punishing Astro for it. But, you know, that's, that's a really, really good take. I mean, yeah, 13 against Big Boss. You know, his, his advantage state is really, really good, Astro. Oh, and yeah, it, against yeah, Rob. And and against Rob especially, that is where you can punish him. So, you know, it's a good, yeah. good shout, Jamie. Um, but yeah. There's also, Anybody Maze else? Beans. Maze Beans and Bloom. I think Maze Beans could take that 3-2. Yeah. I believe, I believe in the Beans. When they come out the maze team. beans, yeah, the beans coming out, but it always brings a smile to my face, man. I was watching him play at UFA. Um, I spent a lot of the time not UFA. What was it? Oh yeah, King that Kong? King 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 Kong. That's the tournament I'm on about. My silly little brain doesn't know what to say. Um, but I was talking to him a lot. Of King Kong. He said since he got picked by, I believe IDJ is the tournament is like the uh, sponsor name. Mm -hmm. I picked up. He's really been grinding Smash. IJC. Um, like. I, I J C right that's 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 it the little squid thing, mm. um but but yeah since uh, uh Maze Beans joined I J C he's been practicing Steve a lot, like if you watched any of his stream sets you can tell his advantage state has gone from here to here in like such a short span of time, mm. he's only been signed with them for two months, and that's when he really started picking up the game seriously. Yeah, I mean quote unquote if you, if if you can get what I mean like he's he's been taking his game to the next level. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the Siski win was huge. The base mage win was huge. Um, sort of the the base mage win was huge. But then you know to come up against Siski, who's got so much Steve experience, you know, plays Samus. You know, that was a huge win. Uh, that was you know. Oh, to get, massive! To, to get a win on the number three, I think in Europe, I think Siski was number three. Um, Siski's currently two, but two? Yeah. realistically, uh... no offense, Siski. Like, love the guy. I've met him before. He's quite lovely. <laughs> Bloom is pretty much a two. It's just a Siski can't yeah. beat him. He just can't. It's sound do not, <laughs> do not, do not show an American uh, a Siski Bloom set record. That's <laughs> all I'll say. <laughs> I mean, it, I think it's a player thing. It definitely has to be. I mean, Quick has done quite well against Bloom. I don't think he's oh. beaten him, but like he's <laughs> been really, really close. I've got a funny story about that. Um, okay. So. Again, I'm quite close with a Bayo main, so like I know a lot about like how Bayo works. And for like a year, Quick would like Quick when Bloom like first popped off. Like Bloom wasn't like a known player for ages. This was like 2020, 2021. Um, Quick was like, oh, I'm gonna get practice. And Quick was like the the number two, right? And yeah. Quick played Bloom on Wi-Fi, and literally Bloom would decimate him for. Ages, because he just didn't know how to di. He just couldn't di Bayo. So yeah. like, Quick got so good at the matchup because Bloom would just decimate him and decimate him and decimate him. Yeah, it's just one of those things where Quick had to get so much yeah. better. We saw that happen with Gluto as well. Like, do you remember when Bloom and Gluto first started playing? Like VCA twenty two invasion twenty three. Um, Icarus Bloom was beat consistently then. Yeah. Uh, now, Gluto knows the DI. He's been playing really well. I think Bloom's taken one set off him recently, but other yeah. than that, like, mm. Gluto has been kind of dominant against Bloom now, taking back his number one spot. The he's he's about the match, really. Believe even? I believe even. I need to check. Yeah, but... I mean, it's one of those things where you know Gluto for, like, the American tournaments. He'll lose once or twice to a player, 
and then he'll just never lose again. Like he used to lose to Leo all the time, and then again learned the matchup, learned Leo's specific habits, and then all of a sudden Leo hasn't been able to get a, a word in edgeways in the last like four or five sets. So it's incredible how they do it. It very is. Yeah, um, the set record between Bloom and Gluto is dead even right now. Yeah, also. Yeah. Um, the six, other six. Like, the other thing I'd like to mention, and this is a player that I think goes under the radar quite a bit, but sometimes they just pop off and just do amazingly, and they're not even seeded to go top sixteen. Is Azalea? Mm. Yes, Azalea. Mm. Very good I, player. Like I quickly check Azalea's stats, but if I remember, like Azalea just randomly gets like some of the best wins I see in like Smash. It's crazy. I mean, I don't think there's a character, a player he hasn't beaten in England, apart from maybe like Lugi. Like I know he's yeah. beaten, I know he's beaten Bloom a few he's times. Um, on he's Bayer, beaten Maze Beans well. as well. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Like Is it, is Azalea it, is currently C the 17th for this event. Lo- well, like in the 17th range, uh, predicted to lose to scores, I believe. I think he could do that. Um, oh no, because the last time I played, they played scores one. I think. Because I was, uh, hmm. I read about scores. So, yeah, he just sort um, of explained how he kept catching his jump out the corner with low boomerang, and so yeah, I, I remember that. Just some like references. I'm looking at Azalea's like thing currently. So like for example, at front runners, Azalea got second, beat Bloom. Mm. Yeah. Then lost to Bloom in Grand. It was quite like strong, but also they got a win on Mondi and Arc Nemesis. At Christmas Absolutely. Attack, which is a bit back, they lost to, um, sorry, he lost to Scores and Ascro both game five. Mm. Like, he has some solid wins, and if he performs, like, I don't think I've seen a non top eight finish outside of Regen from Azalea, which is insane. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think Azalea could easily pull off some upsets. I'm looking at their bracket now, and they've got um, Zanati. You know, Swan, as they used to be yeah. called. Um, yeah. I feel like I that. Azalea can well easily upset. Yeah, yeah. And Azalea uh, has, in losers, been seeded into scores, which went game five, as we know. Oh, yeah. So, another it's a, one. It's a doable run for him. My only mm. worry is, does he get upset early? Because there's been a few bigger events where he's not made it out. Few and far between, mind you. I think I, was, I, think I was at either evasion or regen last year i think he finished about 33rd he I got 25th at regen losing yeah. to solo mm. and print club oh those and are good losers invasion oh, uh 33rd yeah octave and print club mm. again yeah so i, I mean it's gonna I, be I, a, yeah. it's gonna be a dif- difficult run for him but i think he could do it mm. i don't think it's gonna mm. be scores and losers Scores versus super no. semi. I think super semi loses to scores. Oh, really? Damn. Okay. Scores is my go. Well, to- Toon Link is the better Link as well, man. No. No. no Young Link's the best Link by far. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Toon Link's the best Link. Toon Link is. The I best don't link. agree with this take. You guys. Are, I don't. You guys are there. sleeping. You guys are no. sleeping on on, on Toon Link. Yeah, I'm sleeping because Toon Link's boring and not good. I feel <laughs> no, like the problem. Cool and very good. No, the problem with Toon Link is he's just too linear. Like he's very linear. He's one Unfair. of he's he's like the, exactly he's like the opposite of Young Link. Whereas Young Link's like high execution, high skill ceiling. You've got all these like niche combos and tight kill confirms with like things like yeah. down to, down till up air or like landing back air up smash. Whereas Toon Link's up like oh bomb fair, bomb up air. You've got your up draft, and then it's like if you just avoid those percents, it's like. How are you really going to lose? Really, it's sort of back throw at 150 or a random up smash at 130. It's it's difficult yeah. if you play consistently and just like lame him out. Whereas Young Link, it's just like, oh, I got hit by fire arrow. Oh, I'm disadvantaged now. It's like so. If Young Link thing. is linear, then Scores is the embodiment of the song Freebird. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how he managed. <laughs> To do it, if I'm honest, like he's insane, man. He is. But you have to <laughs> and I'm gonna look though, and the thing is with with scores, and also Tunic in general. I think Tunic is kind of on the up in this meta right now. Like again, I don't know. I've not mm. been watching Smash, but I there mean, was like Flow. Uh, there was 
There's like, yeah, the Spritzy in the Spritzy in the US who beat the Buzz at not Genesis. It was a tournament before that. I can't remember which tournament it was. Now it might have been LMBM. Yeah, LMBM. Yeah. yeah, that was it. I can't believe the buzz with Olimar that set. He went Olimar all set. And I was I was watching the end of it because somebody recorded it. And I just sat there and I was like, why don't you just play Min Min or Rosa? Like those two matchups. Buzz, the buzz got so... Oh, yeah. and then, the uh, buzz the... got so angry as well. He was livid, man. He's so... okay, I hate the buzz. He's, He's such having a, a game of rage. He never... Oh, go on. That's fun. I was gonna say he he pops into Olimar called every now and then. He's like, oh, I don't believe in this character. I don't <laughs> practice this character. And then he loses with the character because he doesn't you... practice it. And I'm like, well, I love the buzz. I love watching him. Like it's a struggle watching him play like Rosa and get dumpstered on by Steve. Yeah, but come on, man. Yeah, like you gotta you gotta just stick to your best characters. And if that's Rosa, that's Rosa, right? You know, you don't need yeah, the other. Real. Um, the thing is, again, like I'm just looking at scores as like runs, and at big, like bigger events, scores struggles a bit. Like I can, I can just look at it, and the best thing scores has done in a big event recently. I'm not even sure. Like, thing is, like, scores scores does well in the UK, like always. Mm. Like he's I very guess. consistent in the UK, out of region, like out of country, not particularly so much. Mm. But definitely in the United Kingdom, like very, very good. Like obviously multiple PR, lots of times. So mm. I think it's his run will be good. Okay. And yeah, what, I'll, I'll give it up. Just going to name one one other player before we move on. Agro, the mm. Irish Incineroar Sora, mm. who has been for, C45 has been doing oh. really well in Ireland. I think he's. Or they have won, you know, a few regionals, got top eight at a lot of regionals as well. Like Agro is, I think, really in with the fact, in with the chance of doing super well. Never heard of Agro. Oh, there. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna have a look at their uh, their results because I have nothing to go yeah. off. I don't I mean, know. Yeah, I think I think Agro could do it. The the test is whether because they have a Salia at top one twenty eight. Now that's going to be the test. If Agro wins that. I think they're they're in with a good shot because Agro is just really really on the up and coming in uh, Ireland. Yeah, and they've done really really well. So, yeah, I'd love to agree, but losers round one against Vec. I got to support <laughs> Vec. Uh, uh, I'm a big Vec fan, man. Good. Big up the Midlands. I mean, Vec is on the, on the come up. You know, super well. At, um, oh, what was it? The one in the uh, Warwick. Uh, dead, zone. Uh, dead zone, dead, dead zone, dead zone five, where he where he got second. That was really really good. Losing yeah. to scores, keep scores in mind. Twice. Um, you know, for Incineroar, that's that's a massive come up. So, hoping he can keep the ball rolling with that. Um, but speaking of giant tournaments, like I yeah. I personally have never been to one. I I need to get out and doing like invasion this year or something. But you know what. What has your guys' be- experience has been of like bigger tournaments, like majors and super majors? Because as as Joe said, um, you've recently come back from King Kong, and you know if you're a listener who's not been to a bigger event before, you know what was it like? What what can we expect? King Kong was sick. I'm just gonna say flat out. I I to put it into context, I went to a really bad tournament, a really awful French tournament called Terror. I think it was genuinely the worst weekend of my life. It was awful, bro. <laughs> Terror was like you're just in a massive, warm, like forty degree warehouse with no aircon. They yeah. they like stopped like more than three hundred people from watching top eight. Oh, um, I there was like I could not play. My controller was slipping out my hands like a boomerang comedy skit. <laughs> like it was not fun. It was not fun. I hated that event. But I was totally. like, okay, let me come back when it's not in the summer. Let me try out King Kong. Now, the venue was like ten times better. It was held at like this big science museum type thing. Um, we had like three floors. If you look at like um some of the photography that Sinji crew posted, it's all so sick. Like the venue is like probably one of the best I've been in. 
Um, but yeah, it was a real good weekend. I, I enjoyed like the vast majority of the experience. Um, I know there were some issues, but it didn't happen to me, so... <laughs> I mean, I heard about the terror thing because um, Electric James, the, the puff, um, yeah. went, went to go and get somebody water. <laughs> and so he left the vent, the top eight room, got, came out with the water, and the security guards were like, no, 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 you can't come back in. He was like, but, but I went to get water for my friend. And he was like, nope, can't come in. Yeah, <laughs> but terror, man, you fuck. <laughs> I think me and, uh, me and two other guys just went back to watch it in a hotel because we were like, fuck this, I hate this tournament. Worst tournament I've been to, period. Um, um, so can I just make a quick comment on that then? So as Terra is, I believe it's French for Temple, maybe I'm wrong? Temple. So it's, so it's just Temple V2. <laughs> is it Temple V2? Like, I, I've got, I had friends at Temple, and I heard about Temple sucking loads of heat, odor issues, no space, not able to watch Top 8. Is it the exact same thing as Temple? It's the exact same Temple? thing. And Terra is just Japanese for Temple. Oh, How did it? we not okay. see oh. this coming? How I did we not see this coming, coming man? Oh, no. <laughs> Why did I go to this? Why? <laughs> I should have seen the signs. I should have seen the signs when there was a massive, big Japanese temple in the promotion. I should have been like, no, stay, stay. Get away from me. Get away. <laughs> but I, I went anyway. Worst weekend of my horrible tournament. Oh, dear. But King Kong was sick. They redeemed themselves in my books. Yeah, well done, Humming Bee. It was a two-day um, event, wasn't it? Um, t- uh, King Kong. I'll be right back. Fair oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> um, I was going to comment on King Kong, actually, because that was a very interesting major, in oh, my yeah. opinion. There was... So I did watch it. I was bored on a Saturday, and I went, I'll watch Smash. And um, I saw Kid do really well, and I was yeah. like, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> so me yeah. Um I saw Rafflo like just like proving himself. I I've always believed in Rafflo, but Rafflo's kind of shown recently, as far as I'm aware, that Rafflo is that level now. Like Rafflo beat Mia at Genesis. Rafflo taking um, MKLO very close. Rafflo also beat MKLO at UFA, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he did. Um, Bloom nearly beat Sugar's Bugger twice, but the problem is Bloom oh. didn't get the counter pick. I feel like if Bloom won game one. It would have been over because he got the counter pick to FD. Because mm. on FD, Bloom just dis- destroyed. But we'll be there. At one point, I think Bloom will beat him. But we'll see. Yeah. Um, Leo doing his thing. Um, there was, I believe, Mars. Mars, yeah. Well, he <laughs> lost a flow. Lost a kid and flow, yeah. Uh, For like 17th or something, or 25th. Um, but. There's a lot of like standouts and things to say about this tournament. I feel like from just what I saw, the gameplay was great. The experience was great. There was a lot to see, and it, it seemed like another fun thing, you know? Yeah, I mean, it was it was the only problem I had from for King Kong was as a viewer at home, so many good sets were off stream. Yeah. You had a mainstream, a, a side stream, one in English with Team Regen, there might have been one in Spanish with Mystic Squad. Yeah, and then there was five streams total. Five. Yeah. yeah five? Mystic Squad, Mystic Squads, Regen, some random French stream, another random French stream. Etoile. 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 Oh, e-toilet. 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 Is that is it? Is it what? <laughs> that's, that's how you pronounce it, man. E-toilet. Oh, I, I see. Etoile. Okay. Yeah. E-toilet. Good to know. Yeah, e toilet, bro. We're British. We pronounce it Britishly, bro. Um, and then there's the mainstream, obviously, and then the English main universal. Yeah. So there's a load of streams, but all the good sets are off stream, which was ma- crazy to me. Yeah. Um, I feel like reversal is kind of becoming the new like British VGBC. Like they always have the a little, a, a little bit. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I can see that. They have like front runners all the time. They have this. Like, if they get more major spots, it's just gonna look good for them. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, for real. Like, I, I think, think I think we was doing that for a while with like uh, Icarus and um, Terror. They were the main English streams for both of those events. Which, to be mm-hmm. fair, I'm a big Regen fanboy. I hope they get it. I hope they keep doing it. 
I love but at the end of the day, we can we can only be we can only be one sort of like UK or well not UK, but it can only be one sort of like English restreaming VGBC style thing. I feel. Yeah, I mean, in, I think in like the we, European scene, we tend to think of VGB bootcamp as kind of like an American thing, don't we? You, hmm. you tune in every now and then, and you get like maybe a British major if you're lucky, but most of the time yeah. it's just American things. So. It's mainly just London. Like I think that team had got in with VGBC quite well. So it's literally just meltdown and then like rise and other stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I know that you, Jamie, have been to a, a melee major. Um, why don't you tell us about that? You got all of those uh, lovely lanyards from it. Tell us about that experience. Uh, where to begin? I guess my first major was Air Five. That was a long time ago. But oh. top, top eight was probably the most amazing experience I've ever had at a tournament. It was hosted outside in a big tent, like a big clown circus tent, with a theatre <laughs> screen. It was great. Oh my god, oh, that's it, amazing. And of course, Air is notoriously known for a celebratory drink with the boys. And I've heard all, about this. All of top eight were given a pint, and to Armada... My- downed i think his entire pint from winning all in one go one big chug left him bitched out after like three sips oh. Oh, oh, <laughs> are we surprised are we surprised <laughs> committed to the grind Can't that's, have so nah. that's so left that's so of him man Leffen, Leffen's my goat we share the same birthday because that brings me on to the next oh one. damn yeah dreamhack rotterdam was melee and ultimate uh yeah. to which yeah uh, is that Ramen who won that one? Uh, true. Oh no, no, was that no. was that recent or not? That was must have been two years ago now, actually. Oh, okay, it's the other one. Sorry, there was like <laughs> two Dream Hacks. Mm. But yeah, that was again big screens, melee and ultimate playing at the same time, side by side, and it was a fantastic experience. The venue was hosted in, of course, at a convention center, so there's loads to do, but the crowd was really what made it in the end of it. And I think yeah. That was during my birthday, of course, Leffen's birthday, and we shared the same hotel. And I got, like, from one of Leffen's side friends, a really awkward invite to go, oh, let's go, you know, go have dinner and everything like that. And Because it was Professor Pro, like, number one in the UK at the time, Frenzy, yeah, number yeah. two in the UK, uh, and Leffen as well as his friend. I was like, I do not fit in. <laughs> no, it, the, 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 four gods of, the, the four gods of EU Melee, Professor Pro, Frenzy, Leffen, Mr. Business. Uh, just, 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 the, just the four gods, Mister mm-hmm. Business, the most important one. Of it was very surreal. And then the last one I'll mention is uh, Fate Three by the Sea. Of course, the big discord between Ultimate and everything like that. But as a melee enjoyer, going crashing like the number like half star rated Pontins. Rest in peace. That Pontins is actually closed now. Is it closed now? It, it, yeah, it yeah, it, it closed down. That's Ooh, mental. I'm not sure. Melee, me, melee killed Pontins. <laughs> they never recovered. They just never got the sweat stains out of everything. After, after what after what Jay Mook did to that zebra. <laughs> but no, it's it, it was so good, and that's where I got uh, that shirt from, signed from like 90 percent of the attendees. I got Josh that's, Man. That's huge. So many good people there. Even That's like the so Yardley. cool. Oh, yeah. Hbox is always coming over here, isn't he? He's like coming over here from melee. He came up to I think to Invasion last year. Is it, yeah, was Regen twenty two. He was at <laughs> Regen Regen twenty twenty two. Who was it? Who was it that beat one of our British players? Beat him. Spider. Spider. No, no, I know. I know, I know <laughs> about this man. <laughs> I've got. You tell him. Okay. Tell okay. It. okay. <laughs> let me. Let me. I got this. So. I was teeing out Paul, <laughs> um, and I was uh, I saw Hungrybox walking over, and I was like, "Oh, Hbox, uh, what was the score?" Because I just saw him walking. I thought he was walking to report the score. Um, <laughs> so I was like, "Oh, Hbox, what was the score?" He gave me a look and was like, "Be uh, old to harder." Uh, we're Gordo mashing DDD. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love that. And I sw- I- at the set of Hyder told me this. Hungrybox was like, you're just a gordo spammer. You're you're a gordo spamming DDD. <laughs> That's where Hyder called him an infant or something. <laughs> um, oh. But yeah, um, Hungrybox is quite mad after the set. 
He did lose to it. He did lose. He, he did lose to the goal of spam and DVD. Um, I mean, why can you get mad? How, how can you be mad? You lost to it. Learn. I'm sorry. You're a god of melee. You've been through how many hurdles? You lost the mango how many times? Learn, please. It, it, Shut it, up. It's I, don't, so... I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's that deep because H box almost is really funny. Mm-hmm. Oh. Bro's making bank from all melee. Melee's a fun game. Oh yeah, yeah, it's true. Oh, it's just a money. Oh, it's just a money maker for for Hbox, man. But yeah, that that was a really fun tournament. I spoke to Hbox a bit, um, and then we had like DMs a few months later about Corvus, which was really funny, man. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. What was I that? Anything about this? Was, was that about the money? Yeah, it was after. It was. It was the Corvus. I don't know. I swear, someone made like a Corvus bot on Twitter where it was just making very believable Corvus tweets. Okay. I don't know. I, I again, I just avoid. I, I don't know. They kept adding Hbox, and oh, Hbox was in my DMs, and he was like, "Chorus, uh, what's this bot about, man?" <laughs> and <laughs> I had to explain who Corvus did. really was. Uh, Thank you, man. Thanks, man. Uh, Coinbox Wednesday. Uh, to come to Coinbox. Uh, we got MK Leo Spago. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously. We got Corvus and Hbox, yeah. Um, I love Hbox pop offs, man. They're so sick. The the Glizzy. I really want to. The highlight for me. The Glizzy, the Glizzy saga was so good, man. Uh, I just I can't believe it... he has Glizzy out of Bev. Never meet your heroes. No, absolutely never. Like to come over here and get beaten by DDD. Is that just not the most British thing ever? That's the most London thing. Ironically, that's so like, that's so that's so Britain, man. That's like, but you're up in the north. I know, no, but, but the crazy but thing is, have you ever have you've been to London? If you like go to any London local, you will run into a DVD no matter what. Oh yeah, there's hundreds of them. They're everywhere. So they're, they're everywhere. DVDs everywhere. Like I just, I'm sick of them, <laughs> but they're everywhere. <laughs> just just pick up a, a plus two matchup and then just. Oh, I over. do. I play a plus two matchup. I still don't like it. <laughs> Then why aren't you winning? <laughs> you know, you... Um, I'm winning. I'm not playing this game anymore. Ooh, <laughs> sorry, shit. you're so right. It. You're so right. Hey. I have to say it. Yeah. Matt, right. Putting this controller oh, away. I've, I've done. I've, I'm, I, I, I've, 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 I've put the controller game. down. Um, put the uh, controller what? away and accidentally unplug my headphones at the same Look. time. Okay, uh, smash six. Where, where's the head, Where's the audio jack? Smash six, oh, maybe. Oh. I don't think Smash Six is going to happen. I think, oh, no, I think it is. I think it's going to be Ultimate Deluxe now. I and hope it's I'm, Ultimate Deluxe. I'm, I, okay, I've, I've come to this like, realisation that I am fine with Ultimate Deluxe as long as they change one character and I'll be fine with it. And that is Sephiroth. Sephiroth? Yes. No. Sephiroth? Yes. Or the Sephiroth. Main because main I'm, I'm a Final Fantasy fan oh, my God. and playing Cloud gets boring and I'm like I like Sephiroth so much, I got so hyped. In 2019, one of my first mm. ever posts in Smash UK when I joined the scene was I wanted Sephiroth in Smash, and it happened. That's all I ask. Now, I, I, before, <laughs> before we move on, um, are you sure there isn't any other characters you'd change? Are you, are you sure? Like, all oh, deluxe. are you sure there's no other characters that could do with changing? Like, here's what I'll do. Okay, I mean... I'll do with Elite Wolf, he doesn't need to be in the game anymore. Bye. He he is literally like my my anchor. I don't like him. He is too fun. Get rid of him. Bye, Wolf. Keep everyone else. Keep Steve. Steve can get buffed. Actually, that'd be funnier. Buff oh, Steve. No. no, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. I'm. This is this is controversial, but this is funny. Okay. Buff Steve. Kazia stays the same. Joker. Whatever. Buff. All the characters you find cringe. Okay. Right. <laughs> And here's, and here's the final change I will make. This is the final change. Prana Plant gets even more buffs. Pl- Prana Plant, top tier, please. Oh, yeah, Prana Plant, yeah. top tier. Can you then, imagine? Can you imagine? Watching this game would be silly. Because <laughs> Bloom I mean? would be unstoppable if Plant was top be. tier. Just, you beat his Bayo and he's like, all right, uh, uh, time to, for, the, for the final boss. He wipes out our potted plant. And he beats your ass with it. Whips out a wh- whips out a potted plant, man. <laughs> um, if they really want to make if go on, yeah. If they really want to make old funny, they should buff like the really cringe characters that no said. one loves. All mid tier. Like, like they should buff Duck Hunt Villager. They should buff 
Dark Hunt, Villager, We Fit. Oh, Bose Free is top three. But Bose Free is top three in the game would suck, man. Lucario, like I, I play a game yeah, where Lucario's, Lucario's top one. The Lucario's hype. I think Lucario's hype. I'm sorry. I, play, I, I Lucario. And, well, he's the best character in the game. Is third. No, don't give. Don't make that into armor, please. I think the car is fun, you know. Like maybe it's because I I was a Smash Four watcher and player, and it was really funny when the car is winning at Frostbite. But for me, I feel like the car being good would be funny. I think, I don't know. I'm trying to think of like if We Fit was a top tier character, this game would be so silly. This game would be so silly. I think it would be amazing. Ch- like We Ch- Fit's awkward. Ch- Chucky would love that man. Chucky is element. Oh, Shout out to Chucky. Shout out Ch- to Chucky. Ch- Ch- Shout out, to, shout out to Chucky. I'd actually be a top player if we figure it's buff. <laughs> I've had so many discussions about Chucky and WeFit. Every post on Twitter is about this niche WeFit it's either, trainer. It's either, it's, it's either stats or WeFit. That's WeFit. I just, I, Keep doing what you're doing, Chucky. Yeah. Absolutely, Keep, I love Chucky. Stay Chucky. Stay lovely, Chucky. Lovely chat. Thank you. Don't, 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 don't change Chucky. Um, but like for real, like if I was actually, if I had the reins of what I'd change, I'd just make the game better for people to play in terms of the player experience, not even characters. I'd be like, Hey, training mode, fix that online. Oh yeah, training mode, yeah. Fix that. Add more stages, add more music. I want more music. They got a thousand tracks. I want more. <laughs> I want, uh, I want the way entire, more. The entire cartridge is just music. Yes, That's it. No, do it. It's no longer a, a fighting game. It's just a music game where you can just play oh, any is, is she... give, give me three characters. Kazuya, Steve, maybe Mario. We, we, need, we need we need, we need Smashify, man. Mm-hmm. We do. Just <laughs> like all the banger songs. Like uh, Environmental Noises. That oh, one. God. It's a good one. <laughs> Preach, they, bro. Preach. They, re- they removed I No Uta, and I am I, I, I miss that song. I so miss that song so much. It's so it's, cute. It's so dainty, and they it's removed so... it. Oh, my pink mini. Um, I think they should like go. Hmm, what's a crazy game? Look at Katamari Damacy and go. I'm taking all their songs because that game's silly, but the songs bang. <laughs> and then maybe like look at Tekken and go. We just like to take all your music, please, because yeah. Tekken is crazy. I mean, it doesn't matter. They got yodeling in Meadow Hills. They do. They do. I mean, I, that is just an ultimate song. Like, who doesn't like a yodel every now and then? If if yodeling was more common, I think everybody would be happy. I just agree. That's yodeling. <laughs> That's just. Hey, I love that yodel song, man. <laughs> Such a good yodel song. It is, man. It's it literally is. On the topic of changes, though, one thing I would love to see if they did Smash 6 is World of Light New Game Plus, where you start with all the characters, but if you lose, let's say, four stocks, the standard, that character's just gone. Like a proper Nuzlocke. Oh, a Nuzlocke. That would be so that, cool. That would be a really cool innovation for like the next Smash game, if it yes. happens. I definitely would love to see that, because I've done my own Nuzlocke, like a self-imposed one. But like, if you started with all the characters and then you had to do it, and I think it's just as soon as you lose a challenge, they just get scrubbed off, and ev- everybody would love that because, oh my goodness, it's so good. I what, think they need an immediately kamikaze Stop. is me, right? <laughs> you just you just added. We so re- <laughs> Go on, to Kazi first. We need subspace too. We need subspace too. Subspace yeah. Give it, it back. It won't happen. happen. Give it back. It won't it happen. The- what? I know it, it'll never happen because Nintendo doesn't care. Like, it, no, it's not that they don't care. Sakurai already said. Subspace he said, two. He said because he put all this effort into like the the um the you know the cutscenes and they got leaked in the few minutes and it felt like a waste of effort for people to get rewarded by it. Well, what's he? But, want? Oh well, tell him to grow. Oh, but man, his, 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 like, I want his, my his subspace theory. emissary. But I'm he... fine with no subspace, but bring back the bosses, please. Like yeah. all the bosses, because I miss Taboo. Yeah. Where's Rayquaza? Where is like the one Where from Kirby? Rayquaza? Where is I don't I swear the one is it Piggy from um oh, Porky. Mother? 
Porky. Porky, that's yeah, right. yeah, Porky. Porky. Where's Porky? Like, I feel like you should just add more bosses, like add more fun, add the bosses to more bosses to classic mode, add more single player experiences. I think. Boss ultimate, rush. Ironically, boss rush. People go ultimate is the ultimate version of Smash, but it's my favorite so single. Much. But my huh? It's missing so much. But my the single player aspects of Ultimate, which is more for the casuals, which are more the people playing Ultimate, are like not even there. Like where is oh. the where's the target smash? Mm. Where's where tar- is... break the targets? Yes. Break the target. There where's Wait. the proper all star smash? I'm sorry, where's that, that... Smash sucked. Proper all star smash. Proper all star smash, yes. Where's the board game from where's that board games for, man? Um Where's we Smash need the Run? Smash board game back. Smash Run. Oh, yeah, that, the is that Smash board game? Yes. Like Smash Run. Was yeah, great. the was, Smash Four um, board game. It was like remember, it was like Smash Party? Brothers meets Mario Party, and like you hit a dice block, and then you run it around so and like good. buffs like to make your character faster, stronger, and then if you hit like yeah, you that's with somebody, it. You had to fight them, and then if you lost, you'd give up a character because you'd also go around collecting characters as well. Bring, bring and back. at the end. You just have a, like custom moves. Oh, oh. No, 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 I disagree. Yeah. That's, I, that's, that's, that's a bit too far for me. That's, I'm like, I'm down. I am traumatized. No, but Your avatar card should be the ultimate casual game. Smash should be the no. ultimate Smash game. No, it, literally, it literally, custom moves are so cool. Custom moves were cool, but like some of them were just really lazy. Some of them we, were like, we need bigger we fireball. Need tripping sapling. <laughs> yeah, we need tripping sapling. We need tripping sapling. No, oh, no, we need triple tap them back. We do not. I, um, like as I said though, like I feel like there's so much untapped potential in terms of the single player aspects to like this game that they just don't even bother. Like Smash Run again, that was literally one of the most fun things that on the 3DS, was, yeah. and it wasn't even on the Wii U. What were they thinking? There was challenge mode, which has been basically ruined. Like, yeah, challenge mode were in melee and brawl. Oh yes, the okay. event matches. Yeah. Where you had uh, my favorite one was where you had the le- it's called legendary Pokemon. Mm. Literally, all you had to do was beat this Pikachu, right? And all you could use was Pokeballs, which would obviously spawn legendary Pokemon. It sounded really simple, but it was like really hard because if you got like Entei, for example, you'd have to like go over them and then run it and then like throw them into the Entei. But where they took like no damage from anything apart from Pokemon moves. It was just really difficult to do, but that was what made it so fun. Um, hmm. I know they never come back, but trophies, like I love collecting trophies. Uh, like there's there's so much that I feel like they tried to innovate and modernize, obviously probably for development time, but they're all things that I love so much and I miss. <laughs> I miss and this is how it is. There's de- it's, uh, it's definitely a good point. Like Ultimate, the, the single player is just really Blair. Like World of Light, I was so excited when I got the game. That's all I did. Because that was like the fastest way to unlock the characters at the start. It was like, yeah. play World of Light for seven minutes, then go out, then you beat the character, then you go back in for like another seven minutes and you just kept doing that. But yeah. Yeah, it was like really samey. Um, and what, no, was that, that glitch at the start of Alt where you like ran for like an hour <laughs> on like a really big stage? You just like mm. ran... For an hour and then like quit out and then like you automatically just unlock the characters like oh. we're ready to fight one after one after one after one that's how i unlocked everything and i was just like messing around <laughs> with like all the characters i never played board of light it never appealed to me no it's it, it seems like a good concept in the in like in the initial phase but hmm. basically what it was it boiled down to like oh if you use this spirit to beat this gimmicky stage then that's it like oh the, the floor is lava don't touch the floor, but if you equip the spirit, which negates lava floors, then, well, you're just going to win, because the whole game just doesn't matter now. Yeah. Like, I've watched, I remember I watched Nairo try and do, like, hard mode with no spirits. Oh, God. Oh, it was really, it was rough. That that sounds painful. It was painful. That does sound horrible. There's Um, one, there's a few, like, spirits that are really difficult. Like, Dr. Wily is really difficult, because you've got to fight... Pauline, Pauline, yeah, Pauline. I heard Pauline's like really bad. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. I mean, you can cheese it with spirits, but yeah, if you're trying to do it just like mano a mano, is it super tough? Um, yeah, yeah, Wild Light it was a big, big letdown, and yeah, melee had so much better. Like, I can, mm. un- 
kind of understand not wanting to make 70 or like 89 break the targets, which is fine. But like, on the other hand, it's ultimate. Break the targets done... is so cool. It's so much fun. It's cool. just like I endless watched... content. I remember the Link speedrunning video of Break the Targets in Melee. Oh, yeah. uh, you, you've seen that, haven't you? Like, there's so much like Break the Targets videos in general. Like, I feel like something about Melee that I feel like people don't talk about enough. They always talk about like you know Fox versus Fox FD stuff. The <laughs> single player stuff being optimized with like the tech in that game is insanely cool to watch. So cool, bro. Like, look, looking looking at uh, Home Run. Um, Home run. Oh, that's thank me. They had to add that. They had oh to add God. that in a patch. That's the mental. Ultimate did not start with home run contest. It Let was in, that sink in. It was in like 3.0 or something, I swear. Yeah, everybody was it like, was everybody got the game was like, yeah, where's, where's home run contest? Where's sandbag? Where's it gone? Give me, give me sandbag back, man. I need him. Free sandbag. Free sandbag. Justice for sandbag, man. Um, yeah. New DLC? New DLC. I can't wait for Sandbag to be uh, optimizer or be ultimate tech. <laughs> oh, um, you get like Z dropping. Somebody's going to do one with like Peach and they just like pull a stitch face and they're just going to Z drop it like 90 Steve, times. And it's just... Ramon. <laughs> oh, the, Steve, <laughs> Steve, the Steve home run category and ult could genuinely be like a good speed run. <laughs> Can you imagine it if you like just started building, you spent like 10 seconds mining. And then you just built a row of blocks and you just hit the sandbag from one block to the other. You're just like placing them along. You, you just combo the sandbag along, like the entirety of the, of the length. Just, just jab it along the floor. Just, just jab, jab it along it. the floor and until you get the world record. Exactly. It's where it's not touching the floor. You just like jab, 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 jab. You just keep going on. Yeah. Uh, the, the Steve home run could genuinely be a really good speed run. <laughs> well, not speed run, but like a uh, a said, world record gag. Yeah, right? yeah, because like there are still people trying to like shave like naught point naught naught one seconds off like Smash sixty four home run contest, and that's like not home run contest. Uh, break the targets. Like yeah. people still play that like religiously. They like they just wake up every day and they're like, right, I'm gonna beat this Yoshi's world record by naught point naught one seconds, and that's just like mm. that's just what they do. Yeah, there's like um in melee, like I there's like Fuzziness who's like the speedrunner who like speedruns adventure mode and it's like insane watching. He does stuff in like seconds, like there's the most insane glitches. There's like I've only seen the like the biggest break the targets one I've seen a lot of is the chic one. Where like it's crazy, yeah. like it's the most precise needles like ever. They just chuck like two needles and they break two targets at once and it's like, what is going on? Like how are you guys so precise? I, I cannot do this. I cannot fathom it. Um, it like the categories of speedruns and smash are just actually insane. I think my yeah, favorite, it's mental. My favorite melee speedrun is Bowser's stuck percent. What? <laughs> I don't. I don't know what that is. Fill me in. So start of adventure mode. There's like a Mario yeah. Kingdom like rush. Okay. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a speed, essentially a speed glitch where you'll just like launch past the first encounter, and Bowser can get stuck underneath a pipe. And you can't move. You're just stuck in the down B animation, and it's okay, how quickly yeah. you can get stuck in that animation. And it is <laughs> genuinely that is insane. mental. <laughs> but, but that's like blew yourself category in America. <laughs> Almost. How, how do they come up with this? How, who who found that? Who found that? I don't know. Some, 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 <laughs> some random guy with twenty followers on Twitter, probably. Uh, he posted like, it. The mail. The mail is. The melee scene, so I love melee. Oh my god, I've I've just looked it up. What the hell? Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> That's crazy. I, that is um, mental. I mean, it's like you said, you know, the, the game's like is it twenty years old? Melee it must be. It I, is. Yeah. I was like, I was like ten when it came out, and I remember getting a GameCube, and that was one of my first games I played. I was playing Roy. I thought I was really good. Nobody could beat me. My brothers folded. My friends folded. I was like super proud. Oh, that, damn. So, and I'm a filthy Roy main at heart. But like, you know, it's 20 years later and there's people still playing it. And like, melee. I, I, remember, 
Huh? I am six I'm years old. Roy in melee. I know you had to... But yeah, like, <laughs> melee is going. Rolling. It's like, um, and obviously you guys play it. Like, I play it occasionally for fun. So, I'm not Tom, very good at it. Here's a bit of a background behind my gamer past. The first ever video game I've ever played in my life was Melee. Ah. So I was at my uncle's oh. near the GameCube, and I was like four. Like, you got, I got to remind you, I'm literally like six months older than Melee, so, you know, I'm a bit of a zoomer compared to you, I get it, but as we're going, um, I I went to my uncle's, and he had Melee, and I was like, I really want to play this game. I don't know why, I had no idea what it was. I just wanted to play it. First game I've ever played, and first Smash game I've played. One of my favorite games I've ever played. <laughs> it's like, just one of those things. Like, I won't be playing it competitively like other people, but the history of Melee for me yeah. is one of those. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, I was like... weird. Like, I, don't, I don't think I played a Smash game until, like, oh, in 2019. Mm. That's weird. Like, I, I just played shooters, like, crazy. I think my dad had, like, COD 4 on Xbox, and I was like, yeah, let's give it a go, little six-year-old me. Let's, let's cook a bit. <laughs> But like, I I grew up on I grew up on like shooters and then like I moved to Smash when I was like oh shooters are kind of cringe now. Let's yeah. see what else is around. Um, I mean, like obviously you got you still play it, Jamie. Like twenty mm. years, you still compete in it. Like, mm. how how is it different from like competition and ultimate? Because like ultimate is is five years old and people are. I wouldn't say the game is figured out, but it feels or it almost feels like it feels it, figured but, like, out, doesn't it? But uh, Melee is 20 years old, and, you know, that game has got to be figured out by now. Like, tier lists all just look the same. Like, oh, it's Fox at number one, and then Marth at number two. Well, oh. sorry, like, you can continue, Jamie. I was just saying, you say that, but then you look at who's winning Melee. Hmm. It changes all the time. Oh, yeah. But I swear, like, like, Donkey Kong has put up, like, four places this year or something. <laughs> Stonks on the rise for the Kongs, bro. Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I, 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 I love DK. I play DK in melee. He's my go, man. Yeah, so Jamie, um, what's it like currently, actually, compared to when you started, I guess? Is it any so, different? I think it's way more fun now that you've, like, settled in, well, that I've settled into a competitive rhythm of, like, I will expect to do this, this, and this at the tournament, and if I don't, it's fine, because there's still amateur bracket, because melee runs a lot of round-robin pools, whereas ultimate doesn't. So you get so many yeah. games where you'll play versus like a top player in your pool. Like I'm definitely gonna lose this, but I'm gonna have fun while doing it. Whereas mm. it feels like an ultimate because it's near enough always double elim. You're like, fuck, I need to play out of my mind. Mm. Yeah, I get. You. I would love it so much more if we had a round robin and out. Um, but then again, I'd probably be exposed to more cringe characters. I'm like, okay, I lost. To, I lost to Sonic and Mega Man. Okay, I can, I can still be happy. Um, but if I had to lo- be, lose to like seven cringe characters in like an eight person round robin pool, I'd, I'd, it'd be over for me. And like, obviously, where uh, I think the melee community, I don't know how big the melee community is. Like, Huge. um, do, do you is s- find yourself playing the same players or different players? Because, or Oof. you tend to. When you travel as like a region, like Bournemouth tend to travel as an entire group. So if it's like a local regional of like maybe 30 people, about 10 of them will be from Bournemouth. <laughs> so statistically, we were going to play each other. It happens just too often. Um, but if we go to a major, we're barely in the same pool, let alone the same schedule. Okay. And you're playing so many people, especially internationally, you get so many different play styles. It's... Mm so refreshing to see like you'll play like four peaches back to back to back and all of them yeah differently, and yeah. it's great i was gonna say because obviously the the character pool is a lot smaller mm-hmm. and compared to ultimate like you're you're generally gonna meet the same 10 characters in in the game so like you know i i keep i i like i said i just it's kind of weird because i i overhear people being like ah oh, I've got a fox, and it's, and they play Falco, and it's like, yeah. oh, I'm not too sure about the match. I'm just sort of like, you must have played a billion foxes at this point. There's like, just fox number 413, is he any different from fox 789? It's, how? how... Well, yeah, I would say. It seems, oh, it seems sorry, there's a difference. Man. Sorry, it's just that I, I was mm. watching a video the other day, 
Um, it was PPMD. He was playing melee, um, and he ran to H box. Mind you, they okay. hadn't played each other in like six years, maybe like seven, eight. They played one game, and H box was like, "Am I playing PP?" Uh, okay. Like the expression uh, yeah. of that game. Like I know you have to play like X character, and it's probably similar flow charts, maybe at a lower level or whatever. But I feel like there is a lot of expression that there just is that difference. Like, I don't know if that's like what it's like for you, um, New Chaotic, because like obviously Bournemouth, you're probably like this is how this person plays. Let's say ECS. I don't really know anyone, but um, I'd imagine there's like people who play two characters and they're just that different. There was near enough a social experiment done where a friend of mine, Chayla, went round the UK. I think it was Chayla. I know, I know someone did a video of just Probably showing Chayla. people, yeah, showing people videos of just no tags or anything like that, just melee gameplay, and they had to guess who was playing based on like the skin and how they were playing. And most people got it right because there's so many people who are recognisable. Like if you saw a red Falco in the UK, you're like, "Fuck, that's frenzy. That's my go." Mm. Whereas you see like a white fox, it could be four or five different people and they suddenly do like one recognisable combo. You're like, oh, I know who you are now. Yeah. And that recognition people get is so much credibility to like how you play your character. It's almost like an identity. Whereas I don't think Ultimate really has that. You have a lot of different people that play a lot of similar characters, but more than likely their game plan is based around the same kind of elements. Whereas melee is just far more movement heavy and what feels like yeah. a bit more expressive. Um, I feel like Ultimate is there's like two game plans. Like I feel bad saying it because obviously people like absolutely love this game, but if you watch like let's say Palu's, right? There's like Raflo who's like incredibly fast, and then if you watch a Japanese Palu, they're probably much slower, more methodical. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, like I I feel like it'd be much harder for you to tell the difference. There was an experiment played yeah. in Japan where they were like, oh, here's two high-level players, here's two top-level players. And they sent people in to be like um, top players to be like, can you tell the difference? And it was literally 50-50. They couldn't tell. Mm. They, um, they were like, actually, they were like, oh, they, these people should be playing better because they seem to be playing worse than these lot. But the reality is, like, it probably is a much harder game to tell the expression because there is so much less expression of things in art, which is nothing like wrong with that. There is mm. like your expression is your character, I guess. I feel like but, the problem like, was they chose Palu. I mean that character is <laughs> No, it wasn't it wasn't Palu. It was ESS actually. Oh same thing. Same thing. But, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I feel like um unless you're playing a character like I don't know, Steve. Ironically Steve is one of the most expressional was, characters in the game. I was gonna say, yeah, like you could I feel like you could definitely put up like a cola, maize beans and like owning and then you could definitely tell <laughs> yeah. the difference between them because Jake Smash. Yeah. Jake Smash. Yeah. But, but like, like if you if you put the thing is like Meister and Mia again, they're quite different. Oh you'd be able to tell. You'd be able yeah. to tell. <laughs> one up smashes a lot. The other nairs a lot. Um but like has has me has playing melee I'll I'll open the questions like has melee like improved to you at ultimate is it it's just like are the skills transferable and mm -mm. I think because I play melee and ultimate at the local near enough I think like one week I'll do really good in ultimate but not so good in melee and then it will swap over I'm waiting for the point where I get both up here um but I think playing both has its detriments but also its perks detriments probably don't outweigh the perks i would say definitely the perks are definitely better the more you play the game the more you understand the fundamentals at the end of the day but the combo game is just so much different so you've got to be in two different mindsets because ultimate's like oh i've got my three hit combo now time to reset neutral get my resources back yada 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 melee's like i just want to hold forward yeah. holding forward is good yeah obviously like I, when i played melee i'm um... And again, I'm not that great at it. I just sort of got hit and died. <laughs> and I didn't really know what was happening. Um, mm -hmm. I would get just something as innocuous as like a, a landing neutral air at like 30%. Yeah. And it's like, oh, landing neutral air. And now I got forward air. And now I get dash attack. And now I got up air and back air. And I'm, oh, I, I died. Next stock. <laughs> um, um, I I agree. I feel like. So, 
I've played, I tried melee, like I was like, I feel like I want to do something completely different. It wasn't even competing, it was just playing, like learning something new. And something I definitely realized with melee is there is like a breadth of options you can do when you get hit or if you get hit, I guess. Like there's so many different scenarios and things. Like again, I was playing Marth, so people were probably like, oh, Marth. But yeah. like you get a hit, like a forward air. Is it a tipper? Is it not a tipper? Suddenly there's like five different options where they move, like how they react. Is it crouch cancelled, etc.? There is like the whole SDI thing I don't understand at all, but I believe that plays a major part into things. Like there is like I feel like with Ultimate it's like a, oh I get hit by this. Okay. I'm now in this situation. With melee, it's like I get hit by this. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. So you have to like play neutral. I feel like neutral is way more important in a way, and your movement is way more important. Yeah. That's fair enough. Um obviously the game's still going strong and it's it's really strong it's strong in America because you know, melee mm. tournaments a thousand entrance plus still mm. and uh you know, still, still the same few people winning, but like it's it's getting a lot closer. You know, arms are rising up. Was really, really good. Mm-hmm. You know, hopefully that inspires a few people who are on the lower side of the melee um, ultimate players. To be like, hang on a minute, if if this character is really special, then they can do it. Um, but yeah. What about your experience with melee cars? Do you play much? Um, I I'm I've never entered melee. Um. I really enjoy Slippy. I'm a big yeah. Slippy head. I just play DK on Slippy, have a good time. <laughs> Especially when I am in like the period, because I, I have really big, I'm like, oh, I love ult. I hate it. I love ult. I hate it. So I'm just like, yeah. When I hate ult, I'm like, yeah, let's boot up melee. Let's boot up uh, somewhere else. I hate, like, worst thing is playing a game you hate. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. melee, Donkey Kong, cargo. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Play a bit of PM two on the side. Um, Love some PM. I ain't got yeah. I ain't got the most experience at all like melee tournaments. I do want to go to like a, a melee event this year, but we'll figure out what when when the time comes. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, limited experience really. Okay. But um, you play a lot of HDR, I, I gather. I, I I mean I used I used to play a lot. I still play a lot in like my spare time in training mode labbing. Mm-hmm. Uh, also a DK player in that game. DK is busted <laughs> in HDR. But yeah, I went to Mementos, uh, which is like a, a small regional in uh, Manchester mm-hmm. for the game. I also went to... Uh... Well, what I was going to go to Kingdom. I had to drop out last minute. But Kingdom's basically, for those who don't know, it's a really big HDR invitational. Um, you gain a lot of like, circuit it. points. It's, it's the big finale, basically. I watched um, it. It was actually really fun to watch. I was yeah, there. HDR is such a fun game to to spectate. I I really wish the scene was bigger in the UK because it's probably got like forty pe- thirty people max. Mm-hmm. Which so you can't run like a sixty four event unless um, like you invite the entire of the EU up up there. <laughs> I'm one of those HDR people. I wish I just traveled. Oh, who do you who do you play? Oh, I'm in just a gigantic character crisis with the game. Oh, oh. <laughs> I wanted to play Hero, and then they removed Zoom from the menu, so I was like, "This is fucking oh, no. terrible." <laughs> this is fucking le- terrible. Le- melee esque games where people have good recoveries, man. You should you should know that. True, but so I, I've settled on Ike for now. Ike's fun. I, I remember playing Ike a lot in PM and like the quick draw cancels and like the same thing in in. HDR is so fun. Mm-hmm. I, I also secondary banjo. Um the land cancel egg stuff is so funny, bro. It tills people so much. It's better than Falco Laser. Really? Dang. Yeah, I'd say so. It goes at a really good angle. You can like just so like the ledge is here. You can just spam land cancel on the ledge here and just invalidate 90% of recoveries. It is so funny. I mean, I'll say I, I I've dabbled in HDR, I've not entered yeah. anything, but um, the Bournemouth local used to run it just as a oh, it's over there, um, and I played a few, t- I played a few of it. Like Fundy's transfer really, really well to HDR. I will say, yeah, 
Um, the game obviously feels a lot different from Ultimate, um, and they changed a lot of the characters, and I, I just don't know what's going on half the time. But yeah, if you're fundamentally sound, like HDR will be quite good to play. Um, so I, I would recommend it. But yeah, I, I mean, the my only problem is obviously I play a lot of Zoners, and yeah. they're not entirely good in that game. I feel like the devs are like. Uh, we'll, we'll make all the good characters who are fun to play good, like Falcon and Roy and things, and mm. and uh, the Zoners. Uh, you don't want them being good. I so, recommend Duck Hunt. Play Duck Hunt, please. Appara- apparently, Duck Hunt was stupid good because his can was like broken. I, I did hear about that. Um, yeah, his, he yeah. used to be top one in the game, and it almost killed HDR in, in its entirety. Yeah. I can imagine, and and probably was swiftly nerfed. Oh yeah, no, Duck <laughs> Duck Hunt got gutted. Yeah, I think Steve happened as well, because Steve used to be out bad, and then they found like some crazy tech. Yeah, that was, like super good, and then the devs were like, "Got they got rid of it." Yeah, <laughs> that's that that is so many. That's my problem with sort of like community driven games is that whoever's in charge can just decide a character can isn't good and oh and good. yeah you also notice that the main developers of hgr their mains just so happen to be top tiers <laughs> mm. lucario diddy kong mark mm. some, again? something strange going on there hgr devs well i don't think i don't know yeah that that's my only sort of qualms with sort of uh community driven games is that yeah, they, they, there's a lot of personal bias that, that can happen, and you know, I understand they don't want Steve to be good, but yeah. like, they nerfed him, they found something good, and then they just removed it, and it's just like to be, at to, some uh, point Yeah, I won't lie, based HDR devs, keep that character in the gutter, <laughs> in my um, opinion anyways. I have a big issue with HDR, okay, this is, this, is, uh, this is the only complaint I have about HDR, because I don't want to go into it, like, too much, but I feel like HDR's biggest problem for me is that I've played PM and I've played HDR and I feel like they changed things mm. to make it more like PM. And I know people love PM, but I feel like if they just kept it similar to Ultimate but made its own thing with the Ultimate stuff, like I know they changed like DD's back air for some reason to PMs when they had DD's back air with the hammer. Like just small things like that. I just wish they yeah. kept from Ultimate to keep HDR its own thing. I, f- mm. I feel like I feel like the more you play HDR, it is its own thing. It, it yeah. takes a lot of stuff from all the other other games. Like yeah, it takes stuff from PM, Rivals, Melee, all. But to be fair, it is unique in its own way with a lot of the movement tech, like uh, the wave dropping and stuff like that. You can basically like um, you can air dodge into a plat and also like sort of drop through the plat, and you'll do like a really long slide, like. Yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of the HDR players in the UK are kind of bad, so there's only like two people who actually abuse wave drop into its full extent. Uh, basically, Fabs and uh, uh, <laughs> Fabs and Valentine. But like, there's so many unique things about HDR, which I don't think it's like copying PM. I think it's like building upon what PM has already done. Yeah, there, there, are, there are a few changes that I like to some of the characters I played, like. Robin had a little float mechanic that used his wind tone. Oh, that, that was, was really, yeah. That was really, really nice actually, because it was like, well, you can use your wind tone to to get this like peach esque float. Hmm. If you if you got hit off stage, you got no recovery. So like, yeah. there's like a clear risk reward for like doing that, and I thought that was really, really cool. Um, and I also I like, like how they've de echoed a lot of the characters. You'd like this because yeah. Richter. In that game is so cool. Like um now when you press down B you just like sort of grab the ball and you can oh, do all sorts of yeah. shit with it. And then like it, the tipper of his uh whip sends That's the you opponents win. in and it's it's so yeah. good. Yeah, um, so like, but yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Like the the the, the, the 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 cloning was really, really good. Um everybody felt like they had that little bit more um time and energy put mm. into them that the ultimate just didn't have because you know it's just like whatever. Oh, two link. Yeah. Oh, I guess we'll change his forward smash. That'll do. And it's like, well, yep. you could do a little bit more than that. Like, you know, we've wanted a lot of characters. 
in Smash to be a little bit more mm. unique for ages now. Like, I think the biggest one, obviously, everybody's going to take note of is Ganondorf. Like, come on, man. Like, 20, yeah. years, 20 years later, he's still a Falcon clone. There are it's four just, characters. That's not <laughs> Four working. characters, in my opinion. Four real characters. The rest are DK. clones. No, no, no. Four characters that should be changed because they're just, it's just a bit yeah. Yeah. And one's DK, one's Ganon, one's Sonic. Uh, do we need to change DK? I feel yes. like he's. I, I, mean, I feel like I'm, DK's only I'm, real I'm, problem is that obviously he's hurt. He's not like his games. I think they. Ch- I think they changed DK in HDR to make him one a lot cooler of a character. <laughs> and he's like got a lot more sort of about his game in it as well. Good. That that's like, that's important he, to he, me. Like. His new, his new, like, um, so if you press shield and B, like you would, like, Inkling or Steve, you summon mm-hmm. a barrel and you can throw the barrel, um, like do a lot of stuff off that. Um, his dash attack has, like, the roll um, from, like, PM, Good. which I think was from one of the Donkey Kong Country games. Is that what you can um, roll? Can you roll off stage with it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, ledges? you can roll off stage. See that's ledges like, and platforms. That's something that should just make sense in Ultimate, because, like yeah. you said, you can do it. Yeah. In all the Donkey Kong games, like you roll off, and that would just give him so much more to his gameplay. Like that could set up for cool, oh, yeah, for real. Charging things. But like, yeah, it's just that those sort of little details that you feel just should be in the game, but Ultimate just misses. Yeah, hmm, I agree. Like yeah. some of some of like the older characters, like Mario. Mario just feels like so outdated oh. now. No, I said so. That's that's the fourth one for me, Mario. I feel like Mario should have Cappy in some form, like not a taunt. I feel like some of his moves mm. sets a bit outdated. I know, I know Flood. Everyone loves Flood, kind of. I like Flood, okay, but I also yeah. think Flood could get changed. And I think Mario Galaxy should get a reference somewhere, please. It's one of the best Mario games I've ever played. <laughs> Oh yeah, like even like the new Super Mario game should have some sort of reference, like make his up be the propeller suit or something. Mm. Like you, you know. Uh, do I really like, want? So many. Do I really want Mario laddering me and then jumping yes. like fifty yes, feet you, into the air? Yeah, and yes, you do. He wanted oh, it. it was like badly. If, if you look at Mario, if you look at Falcon, like Mario, Mario's kind of like the base four characters. He is there's a very similar there to everyone now. He has like, like the up air is literally like fifty billion characters have a bicycle kit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the back is quite similar. You could, like, really change him up and make him a bit more unique because there's, like, how many Mario games? There's how many things that he has? I mean, like, they've been, a, they've been about... Uh, it's nearly 40 years since Mario came out. 39 years. There's like, games galore to take reference from. Mario's there's nothing... Make there's nothing die. from Mario Kart. There's nothing from Mario Kart. Make his dash attack the the, the, the cart, bro. I don't care. What, he just drops into a cart while running? <laughs> He just sort of slides tackles oh. into a car and drives for a minute, man. He just crashes into you. Just make him a battle. Yeah, that's a... Oh, I that would go so that. real. Like, there's Mario and Driver Mario, and he just rides uh, the, the B Dasher from uh, Mario Kart DS. Uh, Based. But yeah, like. <sighs> I'm just imagining Mario with a banana as down B and. No. no, 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 no. Like, if you want to do anything for Mario Kart, right? Give Mario, like, give Mario, like, a mushroom and he gets bigger for a second. Hit you. Uh, Wait, Mario should literally be a character where he can be a glass cannon, a regular brawler, and a super heavy all in one. Because yep. he's got the mega mushroom, he's got the tiny mushroom, and he can just have a base form. He should be, he should be like a, a Switch character, like a Pyramithra. But instead, he just has the mushrooms. He should be Pokemon trainer, but Mario. I'm that say is it. so cool. Mario got a like cape. Why can't he glide? Sounds like hero to be there. That's what Jamie said. Why can't Mario glide with a cape? He has the cape, you know? I, the last time we had a gliding <laughs> character, that didn't end it's so Steve, well actually. in competitive Smash. You know about, Steve, actually. You know about it. <laughs> what about Pit? Pit was a gliding character. He was okay. That's true. I mean, but he was very annoying with his side. Charizard? Name. Yeah, Charizard. Um, I, I, Charizard. I can't think of any other gliding characters from that game. Can you? No. Can you? <laughs> no. No other gliding characters in Brawl, which cause problems. 
No, um, but yeah, like I just I feel like there's a lot of untapped potential in terms of move sets for a lot of characters that just kind of they're just like oh we're comfortable with them, but I feel like they should be a bit more uncomfortable when actually change them. Just yeah. make it a bit ruin people's days. I don't care. I don't care if you're a Sonic main. He shouldn't have like fifty billion spins. You know, <laughs> like the link, the link. Comics. Another huge oh, sort link. Of waste. Like young link. I, I think it's young link some, could have kept. Yeah. I don't think adult link should have had bows and boomerangs because, like adult link, like TOTK, like all breath of the wild link. Exactly. Yeah, because ah, uh, they changed his bomb to make him more of a trapper character. So you're like, oh, you got this cool remote bomb, acts as like a trap. But then you're like, what does it? Do, what do his arrows do? Like, how does that coalesce with the rest of his kit? Yeah. Like you're trying to turn him into this trap character, but arrows do nothing to help him. Same with boomerang. It, like, I guess you could argue that if you get hit by a returning boomerang, but like, it's it's but, not enough. Yeah. Like they they I, should make his up his up be like the uh, the ice tower from. Breath for the while. No. And just make I it play think... exactly like Crag from Rivals. I think it should be Rivali's Gale. That would that would be so cool. Rivali's Gale to me no. would be perfect. I also feel like Toon Link, by the way, oh. Wind Waker, like fully exists. Fully exists. And yes. like I'm sorry, there's no leaf, you know, that he he glides off of. Yep. The, the um leaf, yeah. he could play with the wind somehow. There's like, like how? Do, okay, I'm sorry. Zelda gets a phantom, but phantom Spirit Zelda. Tracks is where Tuning gets a phantom, like to help him. That makes no sense to me. I feel like they it, should really. It's because you know. Tuning side B train. <laughs> just, just the <laughs> full Alfonso. on steam train. You know Alfonso, I'm coming like, through. It's <laughs> like. In Smash 4, there was yeah. this whole like, meme about Alfonso becoming a character because Alfonso got replaced by Toon Link on the Spirit Trap stage. Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> Alfonso just come out and beat you up. That would be amazing. <laughs> on the train. That would be so funny. On the train <laughs> itself. Yep. You should just send you, send you to the train. It's I think like... the next Smash character should be Alfonso on the train. Alfonso. <laughs> he's, he's whacking enemies with like the ticket, uh, the ticket stapler. <laughs> 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 Oh dear! Oh god! Yeah, it's a uh, it's it's really good to see um, different uh, games sort of take off, and it's really cool that people are just still playing pretty mm. much every game apart from Brawl and Smash Four because Smash Four is kind of outdated and uh, nobody wants to play Brawl anymore for obvious reasons. Um, but yeah. do you know do you know what everybody loves though? Everybody loves a good pop off. I mean. Oh, I don't. You don't? Go off. Go off. You don't. You guys enjoy That's it. Cringe. Okay. No. Okay. I have. I have multiple reasons to not like pop offs. Okay. Name. First, name one. one. Name one. Go on. One of them. One of them. Okay then. Right. Sometimes people pop off over the dumbest thing. Like I feel like pop offs have to feel earned to me. In some situations, I feel like sometimes people pop off, and it's literally like oh. You like you like I don't know. So if you pop off on a three zero, for example, unless you beat like MK Leo, I'm just gonna look at you and go. If it's a game five tense set, I don't know. Flipping even if it's Duck Hunt Zelda, like a really cringe like matchup, I'd be like, you go king. But if it's like a three zero, I'm I I I can't I can't accept it. Yeah, but it just shows that you <laughs> you're so good. You've dominated the opponent. That's that's where the energy comes from. It's just like be, be, I'm so much better than you. You're just I trying to justify just, your pop offs. I'm trying to justify yours. I because have when, never popped no, off in my life. Oh, shut up. Okay, okay. Here's a story. <laughs> Here's a story for you two. I don't know if you guys know this story. There was like a period where Tom only entered Southampton locals. It was like this whole thing, right? He was like, he was like the hidden boss of the UK, I guess. Like Tom was this hidden boss. No one really knew him. And then Tom went about. He went to Bournemouth. He went to Portsmouth. I remember the Portsmouth one massively. He'd beat a good player okay. then, and he'd pop off so hard, and it'd be like a 3 0. And I'd be like, it's kind of unnecessary, but also it's hilarious. I never popped off. You popped off on Tante. Don't even, sorry, Greasius. Don't get me started on this. 
That has became there's, a meme. There's some really cringe pop-offs. I think it solely um, depends on the person. Like when, uh, was it Zangrix beat Dr. Squeaker? Uh, oh in, no, uh, I've like heard Australia. this story. <laughs> um, was like, where's my hug, man? Where my hug at? <laughs> Where my hug at? That was so funny. <laughs> like that was hilarious. But when you've got some cringe Steve player free owing like some very really cool guy and being like, <laughs> yes, yes, it's so cringe. Actually, I'll justify pop off. Reunion, the first reunion. Yeah. Right. Um, Tom and Aaron lost to me, Beans, and Solid Gamer. Uh... And they popped off back on them because of the Tom meme. And I was like, that's actually one of the funniest pop-offs I've seen. <laughs> it was <laughs> so justified. I was like, you know what? I've got to give it up. You've got to give that's it up. Got to give it up. That's a good one. Um, Do you know, at, at Reunion, I was, I was sitting down practicing with Joycey. And these guys next to me, I have no idea who they were. They were like, oh, did you hear about this guy who like popped off? He was like, let's go Southampton. And I looked at them. <laughs> I was like, that wait, was me. wait, was that you? Yes, that was me. You were the guy who went, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's a story. That's a story. <laughs> he, he literally went to two different locals. He'd never been. Like, he'd only went to Southampton. Right. And the whole meme in the South Coast was Southampton suck. Like, they were like, oh, Southampton's was, the worst region. That was the, ch- yeah. And I was like, guys, no, <laughs> shut up. Okay, listen, right? I was like, guys. But you da- you haven't met Tom. And they were like, oh, we don't believe it. Tom went over and dominated them both. Okay, that was his entire thing. And then Tom was like, I'm going to now justify beating you all. Went, let's go Southampton. But I just went, um, Tom, <laughs> you've beaten them before. <laughs> you had to pop off. <laughs> no, I, I only popped off on Gris. No, but yes, really I know. Funny. But I, had one I, 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 I didn't know that was you. I, was just, I, I, thought, I thought it was some guy in the crowd taking the piss. That, no, it was Tom. It was game five. It was last. <laughs> last hit. How could I not? Yes! Let's go! Southampton! Macabre! Southampton! That is so that is so funny. I had no idea it was you, Tom. I thought it was just some like random not not no. not be not be random, but I thought it was just some random guy. <laughs> In the crowd, it been like, if I was there, it, 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 it would have been you, random. It you're, you're a big been, South Africa fan. I'm like the whole... I'm a bit more of a Bournemouth fan, me. You know, yeah. Yeah. No, I, um, yeah. the whole. At one point, Southampton was actually incredibly strong compared to um, Bournemouth and Portsmouth as well. There was like a period where it was like yeah. Jez, Jez, Tom, Aaron. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, but now, now it's a bit. I'll give whatever, it up. But, but I'll like, give it, up. it was oh. funny. Portsmouth remains free to this day. Portsmouth is free actually now. Oh yeah, Portsmouth is done. Electric the... is winning their locals. So... Oh wait, Electric's winning their locals. Okay, sorry. Electric I... is winning their locals. Portsmouth is not even a city anymore in my eyes. <laughs> yeah. I... He has... Oh god, lost the cred. I think yeah. Portsmouth oh. are definitely justified though in crew battles, especially at, like battles oh. and oh, reunions. Yeah. Wait. Crew battles. I know the the pop off. Okay, one of my favorite ones because I started the chant. It was reunion. Okay. It was Portsmouth, Bournemouth, yeah, and I and it was Minion. Minion was on the screen, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start chanting down for a nine. <laughs> and I got the entire crowd going down for a nine, down for a nine. He went for the down throw, and he got the nine, and everyone literally, <laughs> not a single person <laughs> in the building didn't celebrate. It was one of the most amazing. <laughs> I've ever seen. Bro, that is so it. funny. It is, it is amazing. Like, there's literally a picture of like everyone just like cheering because of the down throw nine getting hit. It is, that is so amazing. cool. Even crew yeah. battles, crew battles are so funny to pop off on. I remember yeah. um, at Rotter Six, there was a Sheffield versus York crew battle. Um, I was carrying Sheffield. I'm so sad the mic didn't pick it, pick it up. Because like they had these really big like mufflers on the mic, so you could only hear the commentators, which was so cringe. Like crew battles, you gotta hear the crowd, man. Mm. Crowd, man. I, I was I was carrying Sheffield. I was giving him a little chance. Uh, we we're, were just shouting, "Ginge, ginge, give us a, give us a wave, uh, show off your engagement ring, ginge." While he was on commentary, look at this guy, happily married, stuff like that. <laughs> um, and yeah, it, they couldn't hear us, but the crowds in in crew battles are so sick. I love it. Yeah. 
I feel like that's what we're missing in the UK. There's no crew battles at all. There's, there's no beef. We're all quite peaceful. We're there a peaceful little beef. scene. You I feel beef? like... You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna like do this. I'm gonna re-enter the scene, and I'm just gonna walk up to like some top player and go, "Did you know that this region said you're bad?" I'll yeah, just but... instigate. Cause... Yeah, but the, the problem is, yeah, but you... you go up to that top player, and then they're like, "I could just beat that entire region by myself." And then, yeah. no, because I'll just, I'll just lie. I'll just be like, "Oh, by the way, um, I don't know, Dark Stalker." So you know this guy from the southeast. Uh, his name's Quality. He said that your region's free and the southeast could beat your ass. Even south coast, the entirety of it are just like, you guys are free. Then I'll walk okay. off and I'll be like, oh, hey, quality Tom. Did you know that this guy called um, Gors, lovely guy, by the way, said that you're trash. <laughs> let, let, it, let it simmer, right? And then I'll dip, I'll play another game, right? And I'll watch, I'll watch it on Twitch as it's uh, southeast versus London. It's, you know, a little bit tense, but then um, London bring out like five billion hidden bosses. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't think there's that genuine beef anymore, unless it starts on Twitter. Oh. Like, uh, but the whole Lincoln versus Nottingham beef, which was just <laughs> fucking funny. No one actually cared about the beef, we just posted about it on Twitter. But then I think Nottingham actually started caring about it. When I was in Lincoln, we're like, okay, let's reel it back. Let's dial it in a little bit. <laughs> It was, it was just me and it was, it was to be fair it was just me i was just making jokes on nottingham and like yeah it, it, it did start a genuine little beef for a minute we never had a crew battle which sucks i really wanted a nottingham lincoln crew battle um, uh, but yeah yeah i feel like the problem is all of the regions sort of know how good they are now <laughs> yeah and if you if somebody's like your region's butt cheeks everybody's like yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're at, we're at. Um, like, I feel <laughs> like there used to be like a little bit of like regional beef between the cities of Southampton, Bournemouth, and Portsmouth. Mm. So I, but I, now I quashed that. But now it's like ended, and it's just like, oh. uh, like, like the, my my other favorite beef that was like from a crew battle was um, France versus Darkstalker. Oh, that's <laughs> legendary. <laughs> Oh like, wait! That no. entire saga, where they did the France versus UK crew battle, I think it was boss battles, where then Fab yeah. read out the famous, the famous text, the sacred. Y'all will text. bow down to me. Like, <laughs> I missed that, you know. But me too. There was a really that. funny crew battle that happened at Invasion twenty twenty three. Robbie versus Midlands. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Robbie. Do you guys remember the Robbie versus Midlands crew battle? I do, yeah. It was literally just Robbie shit talking Midlands. Uh, Midlands is free. <laughs> <laughs> okay, forty-seven. <laughs> That's a very uh, accurate impression. The very sad thing is Robbie won. I was going to say Robbie won. Yeah, the very Robbie sad won. thing is <laughs> the Robbie very sad won. thing. We had none of our top players, and Minimo came in uh, like as the last. It was a three v three. He just SD twice off the bat and tried to go at him three v one. So it really, is Midlands all... living up to their name then, huh? Yeah, I... we're shit. <laughs> Damn, that's why that's they call the mid. <laughs> to be that's fair, nice. Robbie would not win now. Now that we have Kodiak Vekinson. Yeah, um, yeah. I was gonna say you. Yeah, you've got a slight. We'll up. just. We'll just. We're just sending 10 Kodiaks and watch Robbie just cry in the corner. <laughs> Robbie hates Snake. He's love, not actually, it is accurate. Not elegant. In the corner. Robbie does play in the corner. <laughs> Oops, throwing shots. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'll say, before we get too far off pop-offs, that Dark Stalker one, where someone has muted the background and just edited in the sneaker, <laughs> the squeezing <laughs> on the floor is so Hang good. on. Um... <laughs> Producer Wumu, is there any way you can pop that, like just a clip of that right now in the in in in, in the fig? Uh, that pop off by Dark Slugger where he hit that gritty for like fifteen <laughs> seconds. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> I remember seeing it though because didn't he like send was it him or Pelly who put out a tweet and they were like oh man you know pop offs are hell, hella cringe and like if anyone popped off for me like they'd catch these hands and I'm here like um, then that tweet came out and I was like so Brandon 
every a lot of the top players in this country do not like being popped off on, but they would definitely go off and pop off on other people. Like it is genuinely insane. Like, I mean, my feeling is if you pop off on somebody, you've got to be able to take being popped off on, right? Yep. It's yeah. the same with smack talk. If you can't dish it, don't. If you can't, don't dish it. If you can't take it, right? I've only ever been popped off twice in my life. And I was like, do you know what? I hold my hands up, you know. I can't sit there and say that you shouldn't do it. Also, because, you know, about smack talk, very related. If you are going to smack talk, please say it with your chest. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Please say it with your chest to the person. Same with pop-offs. Like, you got to... No humbleness. Just, just don't be humble. Because there's no point. No. Anyway... <laughs> Like you just gotta own it. Like you, you if you if you won and you, and you pop off, own it. Like yeah, yeah, that was me. I meant it. No, none of this fluffiness. After I, oh, I'm really sorry. No, oh, you yeah. clearly weren't sorry because you did it in the moment. And, yeah, and that's what makes pop off. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. I'll never pop off on you again. Oh. <laughs> I was uh <laughs> I don't know if you watched King Kong, but Maze Beans had two incredible pops. Really? Yeah, I, I, I was in one of them. I was in one of them. <laughs> it, the first I, one I, was I, 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 It was against Base Mage. I swear, <laughs> long, like, everyone was just calling, saying, oh, Cars looks like Maze Beans' is dad. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> this is my life now. Because obviously we got to see the camera and then, you know, Maze Beans has killed him and then jumped up off of his seat and base mage is like ah, if any just fucking launched himself at me i was like yes let's go and they just fucking launched them. okay yeah yeah he sort of sprang up and, down, and then just I, I, I was like i was like oh shit i've got to catch this kid <laughs> i've got to catch this kid now oh god oh siski was on it was even funnier because he did the same thing and siski just turns around and there was a wall next to him and he's just like banging on it <laughs> no i love <laughs> really 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 i did not see that i did not you should i've go got to find, find that video siski so, obviously lost, to... like tossed his controller to the floor and then like turned around and found this wall and was like pounding on it bro <laughs> bro uh, that's an edit, right? Uh, that's edit that and put in a Minecraft wall breaking noise. That's, <laughs> no, that that's that's Sisky that's Sisky We all know which one I'm on about. I fucking. I'm love not that sure tweet. I want to say it because of the TOS. I love that, I love that tweet. tweet so much. He definitely needed it right there. He definitely needed it after that <laughs> set, man. <laughs> oh yeah, another one. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I've, I've got to get. Up, I've got to oh, say, yeah. I've got a bookmark ready for when Sisky loses again. <laughs> oh. Uh, but yeah, I definitely feel like you've got to go all in on pop offs and those things. If if you do it yourself, you, you, it's coming your way eventually. No one pops off on me. It's kind of I mean, a sad reality, really. I popped off. You pop off on me, Matt Randa. No, 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 not on you. I popped off on someone. Oh, yeah, I popped off on It Me Ben in the middle of a game. I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I, remember. I was watching that live and I was like, oh my God. Oh no, Cards is losing. <laughs> it's so no, over for you. Because it's like a self fulfilling prophecy at that point. Um, Mine was. Yes, in let's fucking go. <laughs> this, was, this, was, this was just a meme because I was playing someone and they said to me, they just kept going. Yeah. I was playing PT. They were like, you're never ever going to hit me ever again. It was like 2020. With a back for a flare blitz. He just said it. He played for like an hour. I hit him with a back for a flare blitz, popped off, didn't play the game for the rest of the day. I remember a really funny set from Dead Zone 4, and I'm not sure whether the VOD still exists, but it, it was Zanati versus Lucretio. And it was literally Jude commentating his own game against oh, Lucretio oh. on Pyro. <laughs> I am going to down air. <laughs> and again! And again! <laughs> But I think he killed him with up smash and loot, loot. Oh, Zanati, Zanati Lucrecio is just a really funny set, no matter when, because they both just shit talk each other during the set. It is so funny, man. Now, wasn't there like a set where like Lucrecio also commentated because he just smack talked? Like, yeah, 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 yeah legit, legit. That. It was um, oh, Kibzu Lucrecio. Yes, <laughs> that was ages ago, wasn't it? It was so long ago. It was yeah. pre-COVID. It was like a, a Yuki Circuit qualifier, I think. Um, mm. and like it was just Lucrecio Kibzu both absolutely shit talking each other. It was the funniest set. 
Um, the most famous one probably is the Nut Roast one, though, right? I don't know. Um, I I think the most famous has got to be Kim Soo. Uh, no, because like Kim's Nut Roast Kim, yeah. got famous on Twitter because he was commentating. Oh, about, he did get famous on Twitter. The, it was the DDD one, and then he was like, "What was that? What was that? What's the plan?" <laughs> Oh, and Nut Roast wins. Right. It was like he popped off on commentary. It was crazy. And then he just went, yeah. yeah, yeah. GG's. <laughs> yeah, GG's, man. I love him, David. Oh, Big up. Big up. Yo. I have got to say, by the way, I, I may have dip in like a minute because my food is on the way. I'm looking at it on Uber Eats and it's like two streets away. Damn. So I may have to, because I, I, I ordered it in prep for half nine. So I was like, oh, oh we'll be done by then. Um, but we've had like a, an amazing talk, so I might have to dip a bit earlier than you guys, unfortunately, on this occasion. I mean, I was going to say we've been probably live for about an hour and a half. It's, it's, it's been it's yeah. been two hours, I'm pretty sure. It's been a good time. It's, it's been an fun. amazing podcast. I, I love I love quality check, bro. It's, Big quality yeah. check, enjoy. You checked the quality, and it was good. Uh, good quality. It's great to have you on, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think I'll wrap it up there because. Yeah, we've been live for quite a while. So, um, yeah, thank you very much, everybody, for listening. And uh, obviously, my my friends who uh, have come along and helped me with all of this. Um, before you go, Joe, Manchester oh. Grand Conquest. Oh, Manchester shit. Grand Conquest, uh, yeah. predictions. One um, and two. I want first place and second place. I think it's going to be uh, Bloom and Space. Bloom and Space for one and two. Solid. Uh, Jamie? Ooh, I'm going to say, I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to say Super Semi 2, Bloom 1, but I want it to be Maze Beans 2, Bloom 1. We all want it to be Maze Beans 1, Bloom 2. That's what we That's really true. want. I'm a big Maze Beans supporter now. Originally, I was like, fuck Steve, I just want Maze Beans to do well. <laughs> and uh, Matt, what are your predictions? Um, this is an even riskier one. Bloom 1, Flow 2. Yes, I was, gonna go, I was gonna go Bloom One Flame Two as well. I, I agree. I'm really excited to see Bloom versus Flow because it never actually happened at King Kong because Flow overslept. Really? Uh, yeah. yeah. I, it I, was I, the, the first set of day one, but Bloom, um, well, Flow overslept because of the jet lag from Genesis and and yeah. had to like just play his losers into Mars. Farm that Mars is... after like the funny comment Mars made about him him being the McDonald's Roy or something. McDonald's yeah, Roy. he called him McDonald's of Roy and then he lost to him. It was uh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, it was so perfect. Um All right. but yeah, we'll leave it there. Uh thank you very much for listening and again thank you to my guests for coming on. It's been a pleasure having you. Um enjoy your weekends and enjoy Manchester Conquest, uh Carl. Thank you. I will. I'm commentating top six as well. Doubles. Woohoo. I'm so back, baby. Yeah. Yeah. I'm back. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so thank you very much. And uh, this is us signing off. Bye. Bye bye.